Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do the fountain pen superlatives video inspired by Leanne of Leanne Likes. She did a currently inked uh, a few weeks back where she talked about the superlatives list that she had seen on YouTube. And I can't remember where the original came from, I must, I'm sorry to say. Uh, if I can remember where it, it originated, I'll put it down in the description box below. I have a couple of minutes this rainy and snowy Saturday afternoon, so I figured I would go ahead and film this for a Tuesday upload. If you are here um, because you've come from Simone's uh, video chat with me that should have uploaded today, um, welcome. I hope that you like what you see in my video today. I have a lot of different things on my YouTube channel, the first of which is some knitting vlogs. Um, but I do have playlists for all of the different crafting that I do, so you should be able to see a playlist for stationery and pens, if that's the kind of stuff you want to see. But anyway, I hope you decide to, to subscribe to my channel. Um, so I'm going to just jump right in here to fountain pen superlatives. This is as of March 2023. I have all of my pens here in my Superior Labor leather pouches and have some notes off to the side here. So I will start by talking about the very first fountain pen I purchased. If we're talking about the very first, then we can go all the way back to probably 1993, 94 when I was at college and I stopped in the school store one day and I used to love looking at all of the pens and the stationery. Anyway, I ended up picking up a Pilot Varsity, which I don't have one here to show you, but I'm sure you've probably seen the Pilot Varsity before. It's the disposable fountain pen version and I loved it. I loved writing with it. I usually would just write my school notes with that or sometimes do drawing or whatever. Fast forward to the point when I started buying fountain pens was April of 2020. So we had just started the lockdown and the stress of that obviously had me thinking of how I can stay connected with my friends and family. So I decided to start doing a lot of letter writing. And um, I think initially the pen paling videos I was watching on YouTube mostly were people that did a lot of pen pal stuff. For example, the paper letter blog. Vivian's videos were some of the first that I watched. And although Vivian didn't talk a lot about fountain pens, I think that just by nature of the whole algorithm of YouTube, they started showing me videos on fountain pens because letter writing, fountain pens kind of go hand in hand, I would think. So um, the very first fountain pen that I bought was from Jet Pens, and I got a black Pilot Metropolitan. I stuck with Pilot because it's what I knew. I played around with the Pilot Varsity, and I knew that those were pretty good disposable pens, so I figured I couldn't go wrong with getting a Metropolitan. Um, I ended up getting black, which I don't know why I ended up getting black, although down the road, like a Several months later, I ended up getting another one in orange, but I have neither of those left. And I've already sold them in from my collection, so I don't have one physically to show you. I'm sorry to say. Um, but anyway, that was my very first fountain pen once I got back into fountain pens. 
So moving on, the next question is, um, or the next superlative is most recent pen purchased. The most recent pen purchased uh, is a Jinhao 82, which I don't have yet. It's on its way. Um, the one before that, though, I recently ordered a Platinum. This is the Platinum Century 3776 in the... I, I did... I looked this up as far as how to pronounce it. It's Chenin, Chenin Sao White, I want to say. <laughs> oh, sorry if you can hear me meowing. Django is in here bugging me. So um, I got this Platinum 3776 on Amazon. And the reason why I bought it there is because it was cheaper. <laughs> and I also had like an Amazon credit, so it was even cheaper. It was under $100. Now, what I thought I was ordering was a double broad because I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I guess I don't need to go into so much detail, but uh, I watched a video on YouTube recently and um, the double broad was what I ended up wanting. What I got was a broad sadly. Uh, and sadly, the company or the seller on Amazon that I bought this from won't doesn't allow uh, returns. So I decided to keep it because it is actually a very nice pen. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to get a double broad, but I may need to purchase it directly from Japan. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Sorry, this is kind of blurry. There we go. So anyway, um, we'll do a little writing sample here. I'm just using a piece, a loose leaf piece of Sanzen Tomoe River Paper 52 GSM. This is a 14 karat gold nib. I have this inked with Van Diemen's Honey Bee Eater Wing. And I have it in a cartridge because I, when I got the pen, I didn't realize it didn't come with a converter. So I had to order one separately, and I do have it now. Um, but anyway, I just decided to fill that cartridge up with this beautiful, beautiful color. Okay, so the next one is, what is your smallest pen? Um, my smallest pen, and I have a couple of these, is the Caveco Sport. And I just brought a couple. And I guess it doesn't really matter what. I guess I won't. I'm not going to write with this one because it's also a green ink. Um, but this is my dark olive. And this is a double broad. They're both double broads. And then this is the Macchiato. Steel nib. And I have this inked with barley. 
from Birmingham, Birmingham, Pen Company. The largest pen in my collection. Now, I love big pens. They're my favorite. So um, the two biggest pens that I currently have, actually, okay. In terms of girth, it would be this Opus 88 Flora. In terms of length, these are both about the same. This is a Jinhao X159. So I'll just write with both of these. Broad nib, big surprise. This is currently inked with Diamine. Cozy Up, which is a color from the 2022 ink vent. And the Jin Hao X159. Is a fine nib. It's the navy blue with gold trim. And I have this inked with Tono and Limbs. Harvest. Persimmon, persimmon. Okay, the next one is my youngest pen. I would guess that would probably be my Franklin Kristoff, which is relatively new to my collection. I don't know the year this was created. I'm assuming it was probably, probably within the last couple of years. This is the Model 31. Omnis, and it's um, I have it written down as nuclear green and salmon glow. That's like this neon yellow with pink. This is their basic steel nib in a broad. I have this inked with Sailor. Shiki Ori, Fuji, Sugata.
And my oldest pen is probably the Macchiato. I don't have any vintage pens in my collection. Um, so this pen was purchased in 2020. And I already sampled it, so I'm not going to bother writing with that again. That's probably my oldest pen. <laughs> what is my mo my least expensive pen? My least expensive pen turns out was um, about $3.50. This is something I bought off of the Stationery Pal website. And it's the Jin Hao Steel 911. It's kind of got this cool hooded nib. This is like plastic. The rest of the body is metal. It has a converter. And I believe this is an extra fine nib. And it writes so nice and smooth. I love it. I have this inked with Yosaka Stationery. Origin ink. Which is this beautiful dark green color. My most expensive pen is also Yoseka. This is the Yoseka and Sailor collaboration called the Refresh pen. This is just a regular pro gear. And I got this in a broad nib. The only other experience I've had with Sailor is I ended up buying a one of the Shikiori, the fall one, which was like a matte purple color. That came with a medium fine nib and I could not stand that pen. Um, I ended up selling it actually. So when I had the opportunity to purchase this, I decided to go with the broad and it's one of my favorite pens of all time. It's so great. And I keep it inked with the same ink since I bought it. I have it inked with Corel de, de Tropique by J. Urban. It's just a beautiful coral color, and it's a perfect match for the finials of my pen. It's a good one. My favorite. And I just don't know that I'll ever ink it with anything else. <laughs> it's just like the perfect pairing. And that comes in at $440. I know, it's insane. Don't tell my husband I spent that much on a pen, but I did, um, I did it. I just went ahead and did it. And as you know, these sell out. I mean, the original Yoseka Pro Gear that came out, the green one with the glitter, that one sold out. I didn't get my hands on that. Then this is the second iteration, and I believe there's going to be a third. So will I end up getting the third one? Probably not. I don't see any reason to have more than one $400 pen in my collection. <laughs> um, unless it's a color that I cannot say no to, which I doubt it will be. But that is my most expensive pen. And the last one is my favorite everyday carry. 
Now, this is tough because I don't leave the house. <laughs> I work from home and I don't really ever take my pens on the go. But when I do ink my pens up every month, I always have at least one Twisby Eco. So I figured I would talk about that. This is my Twisby Eco Glow Purple. Chanko, please stop. Oh my goodness. I have this inked currently with a sample that I received from my friend Ramona. And it's Yamabuto by Pilot Eroshizuku. Django, stop. Please. It's the broad nib. Not Sailor. Pilot. Yama Budo. And I love this pairing so much. I'm almost done with my sample, which makes me so sad. That, my friends, is my super superlatives list. I'm sorry for the cat interruptions. You're going to have that, you know. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing my superlatives today. And I do hope that you check out Simone's channel to watch our little interview that she did with me on Zoom. And it's being uploaded on her channel, I believe, on Tuesday, the 27th. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. Come back over here, subscribe if you want, click the like button, leave me some comments. Do you have any of these pens? What do you have them inked with? And tell me what your superlatives are. The questions, again, are your first fountain pen purchased, your most recent pen purchased, your smallest pen, your largest pen, your youngest pen, your oldest pen, your least expensive and most expensive pens, and finally, your favorite everyday carry. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.